Okay, raise your Doge and influence and progress in the story. In story time advances, you clear a quest. Depending on your progress, time may advance without a quest appearing. As time progresses, date will change. New quests will be unlocked based on in-story date and time, as well as your total Doge and influence. Honolulu Airport. Nothing else here. Hey, my Mr. Code. Let's go do that first. <laughs> hey, we're fighting some Vorpal chickens now. Okay, so... That, that, and then that. Hey, nice damage, Ibaraki. Alright. Oh, crap. Ibaraki can actually get to level 80. I'm missing out on damage because of that. Luckily, she was still able to do it. Okay, so do this, this, and then this. Should take out most of them. But most of me too. If I had increased our damage, we would have just got to the third battle already. God dang it. Oh well. I would really like to see Ibaraki's Noble Phantasm actually done in my game. I've seen it once on a video for it. I haven't actually seen it in game yet. Damage increase. And there we go. So yeah, that ability also increases her uh, Noble Phantasm damage. I just realized that. Yeah, alright, Ibaraki, nicely done. I will take that summer, Mr. Ko. Thank you very much. There's no battles. Wake up, XX. Seven Summer 2020 Festival. Wait, is this going to be showing the other seven now? Finally, we're at the hotel. Damn, this place is fancy. Welcome to... Oh, it's you guys. What are you doing here? Say hello to Henry Jekyll, the hotel manager. A dance for the duration of Seventh Fest, at, at least. Somebody has to take care of the various administrative duties for an event like this if it has to go smoothly. That so sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, we want to check in. Yes, of course. It looks like Blackbeard. Uh, Mr. Blackbeard is of the suite. Is that acceptable? Hell yeah. You do understand. It's a penthouse. Kick ass. Gotta love living in the lap of luxury. Very good. Is that all right with you two, Master? I really don't think I need a suite. Yes, we'll all be staying in the suite, please. Have a good one of our bellhops will be with you shortly. Yahoo, Saber. Hey, Mordred, looking good. What's up, Bean Sprout? Ah, I'd appreciate you treating me with a little more respect. Now that I'm your boss and all. Nope. Hey, just so you know, this suite is stupidly expensive, so don't transfer place or get into any fights in there or anything. Ha. Huh. You telling us not to fight? Is that a pig I just saw flying outside? Bait me all you want, I'm still not gonna fight. And for the record, every single hotel is completely booked, so if we toss you out, you'll be spending seven fests on the streets. No, no, Zeba. No threatening our guests. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and one more thing, there's no room service. If you want something to eat, you'll have to come down to the lobby. What kind of hazardous operation are you running here? The only ones here, me, bean spot, and a few golems to carry luggage. But don't worry, we got some good eat here. I especially recommend avocado toast. You can really taste the whole wheat the wheat and the bread they use. Oh that does sound delicious. Come on, send pilots, put our things in our room and then have lunch. Right on. Okay, here's your room keys. Oh, and one last thing. Don't go sneak into other rooms, got it? Visiting with permission is one thing, but no sneaking around. What, what about somebody sneaking into our room? That's what you're worried about. 
Well, uh, I think you'll be okay. Probably. Eh, probably, you say. Oh, if it isn't the other Sean. Aw, oh, crap. It's, a, it's Princess Sparkles. Are you staying here, too? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, you are, too, Marie. Oh, yes, Sean and I are sharing a room. We just got to the best part of our work, too. Work? What work? Oh, did I not tell you we're making a book together for Seventh Fest? Figures. I, sh I knew she couldn't have drawn a story like that on her own. So you're in cahoots with her, huh? Cahoots? Oh, you mean you thought her story was a hoot? Thank you. That means a lot coming from you, Viva La France. Are you here for Seventh Fest to alter? When we finish with our books, we should give the other each other a copy. Hell yeah, tell her to brace herself, cause when we're done with ours, she won't know what hit her. <laughs> Master, it would probably be better not to mention we still don't know the first thing about trying Dojin. You can say that again, oh, oh but don't. Alright Master, why don't we go to our room too? I can't wait to see what our suite is like. Hell yeah! I'm sharing a suite with a lot of nice women. Master, I'm here. Master! What's up? Hey, Monarchy, I thought you went out to look for Shooten. Now it's before I realize something crucial. Where's my swimsuit? <laughs> huh? I can't go swimming dressed like this. Trust me, I tried. Oh, yeah, I see. What about your morph skill? Did you try that? Oh, me stupid. How can I change myself into a swimsuit? I don't even know what my swimsuit looks like. Besides, you're my master. Shouldn't finding me an appropriate swimsuit be your job. Well, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I can't. Why don't you apologize? Wait, does this mean I can't wear a swimsuit? No, my past three are master, Ibaraki Doji. You have no one to blame but yourself, and I'm asking Lady Scarsa how ahead of time. There are only so many servants who can tip with their spirit origins, after all. All of that is to say. What, what, what? You should have thought ahead and played accordingly as I did. It's not right to blame master for this, Ibaraki. When did you change into that getup? What do you think, Master? You look beautiful. You look badass. Thank you, Master, indeed. I'm told this one is better with the, after a beautiful katana. I certainly feel much lighter in it. It reminds me of the time I spent training at Mount Kurama. Oh, well. So what? I actually own a mountain, so there. Is that better go consult Gasaha? That's a good idea, although I'm not sure if she is even here in Lulu Hawa. But never mind that now, Master. You still need to see your room. Alright. Nice. This is really nice. Fofo! -fo. Let's go see what the view is like from the balcony. Where was Fo this entire time? Is that of our suitcase? The weather is gorgeous too. And look at that beautiful beach. Oh? Wow, they've even got shooting stars here. Are you sure I wasn't just double X? Bow. <laughs> Master, come quickly. I picked the foreigner signal. Oh, because the double X is the foreigner. And hey, wait, no, this means I'm sharing a, I'm not sharing a room by my, uh, God dang, I'm not sharing a room with anyone. <laughs> it's by myself. The fact that Marsh knocked on the door means that she's not actually in here with me. That sucks. I think the shooting star you just saw was the foreigner. Well, that was fast.
Waikiki Street. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone? Anyone at all that's a summer servant? Anybody? Yeah, for on. Hmm. Four is a week to berserkers, right? Oh, you know, foreigners are strong against berserkers. Berserkers are weak against foreigners. It's alter ego. And of course, we don't have a summer alter ego, so let's go. Crab, what was her name? Hokusai. Ah, Toto Sama, you already bit the dust. Wait, crap, I think I'm getting dizzy too. Hey, you, who the hell do you think you are? None of your business. Die, foreigner. So, wait, instead of a saber killer, she's now a foreigner killer? Ah. Uh -huh. No, Hokusai! Oh man, the foreigner really did show up. Yes, I've just confirmed it. A mysterious object crash landed on Waikiki Street. A, a propos of nothing. I've noticed you no changed too, Marsh. Yes, I did. My other outfit is made for Caldea, so. I'll get to stick out of your ass, Master. Let's just uh, kick this thing's ass, then go enjoy our vacation. And, and our dungeon. Don't you dare forget the dungeon we need to make. I don't have a stick in my ass. <laughs> Is that BB? It looks like the foreign is fighting her. Oh, so perfect timing. A mysterious servant crashed later here and is going around wrecking her everything. I'd love to deal with it myself, but I'm using all my amazing powers to keep the torrent safe. Besides, I don't want to burn my swimsuit in a fight. Come on, help me out here. Yeah, Miss Place concerns about your swimsuit aside. A convention initiative and keeping the other people safe. As I said, we will handle this villain. Be ready, Robin. Marsh, our enemy is about to emerge from the smoke. Illegal servants detected. Existence forbidden. Executing all targets. Huh? Hmm. Ugh. Play timer. Roll. Roll. Meh. Meh. So, roll. Roll. Roll bottle. Meh. Meh. Mech. It's, it's a mech. -er. No, it's a robot. Well, this really is a, isn't time to worry about that. I've never seen that seven spirit origin before. What's more, it's dead set on killing everything in sight. Take it out before it hurts any other innocent bystanders. Destroy. Destroy. Come on, everyone, let's do this. Fatal Battle 1 of 1. Dang, she has 72,998 HP. And two break bars. Alrighty. Ibaraki! Let's do this. So do we only have to break her one break bar, or do we actually have to beat both? I mean, I'm fine with doing both. This is probably going to be a little bit of a pain, as it tends to be when I'm only using Summer Servants and I'm not using my regular, like, setup. Especially when I'm using Summer Craft Essences as well. So this, this and this. Hey, 75% hey, of the phantasm, not bad. She just gave herself invincible, how dare you? Nice, we had on a, on a way to go through invincible, but we don't. So, put on, we need you to get some crit stars up, please. Attack! 
Thank you very much for the 20 crit stars. <laughs> Ibaraki has her noble phantasm up. Give her evasion out if she has it. Do that, that, and then that. Nice crit. Alright, put on. We need you to attack fully. And there goes her break bar. Now, I didn't use my noble phantasm purely because I wasn't entirely sure. God dang it. Had I known that was gonna happen, I would have just used her noble phantasm. Oh well, Jean's bond level 2 now. <sighs> so sad. I wanted to see you, but I can double phantasm too. Should've known that was gonna happen. Shit ended. Terminating combat. Do not think this is over. Primitive life forms. This convention will not stand. I promise you, on my honor as a foreigner, I will crush seven to fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. The enemy foreigner transformed and rolled out. I, I mean, flew away. I can't track her. Oh, for a fan freaking tastic is what we want need. Another powerful enemy with crazy weapons. Good thing BB threw up that barrier in time, or this whole area would be rubble. So that is the foreigner. She seemed different from Lady Abby or Lady Hokusai, if anything. Well, I mean, she just absolutely destroyed Hokusai, so, uh, yeah. It felt like she was closer to that mysterious servant. Mm-hmm. So that's the foreigner everyone's been talking about, huh? Mind feeling little me and about what's going on, senpai? Well... A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sexy swimsuits. That's not part of it. Now I see. I had no idea that was going on while I was getting ready to toy with, I mean. But why would you follow your hard work? So I get that this foreigner is a visitor from outer space with a special spirit origin, and that she's an existential threat to mankind. But I don't care why she showed up here at my Lulu Hawa. And she probably just throwing a jealous tantrum after she saw how much fun we're having. Makes sense, especially coming from a nerd like you. But hey, now that you drove her off senpai, we have nothing to worry about. Sure, it sounds like she'll probably come back at some point, but you can just send her packing any again, right? I mean, that is your job and, and all. So I'm trusting you guys to handle that. Remember, Seven Fest is in your hands. And Baby disappeared again. She certainly likes to come and go as she pleases. Still, it is lucky that we ran into the foreigner as soon as we got here. And it looks like to be very... Since it seems to be very likely that she'll show up of her own accord again. I think the smart thing for us to do would be to set ourselves up here on Waikiki Street and wait for her to appear when we investigate Hallelulu. The hell was that thing? I can't possibly make them let me focus on the dojin now. Hang on now. Let's not forget about Seven Fests. I've got a lot riding on our success here. Basically, we just gotta make a book, right? So let's just slap some photos of Lulu Hawa into an album, make a guidebook or something. Are you nuts? We can't possibly win some half-assed entry like that. That's where you're wrong, Missy. Creative endeavors start small. You think your first novel could be your magnum opus, or your first painting would be a masterpiece, or your first game a smash hit. No way. As the manager of this operation, my first order of business is this. We gotta polish our skills, refine our sensibilities, and find inspiration wherever we can. If we explore Lulu Hawa, we can look for leads on a sworn to collect reference material, and learn the tricks of the trade. Personally, I think that's the way to go. What do you think, Dragon Witch? Gah, fine, you're right, I admit. We don't know Jack as far as drawing Jojen is concerned. 
We'll scrounge up all the BB bucks or gill bucks we can, buy art supplies, and go look for stuff we want to draw. Got that cell? The success of Guest Spent Ketsud is riding on your shoulders. As our master, it's your job to train us to make sure we don't waste a single day. So you just need weapons material, huh? Leave it to me. So you just want to go sitting, huh? Leave it to me. That was a great Da Vinci impression, Senpai. Uh-huh. So you just need some reference materials, huh? Leave it to me. I totally have a good Da Vinci impression. Uh-huh. Hey! I can actually start grinding now. So... I... Aw, oh, crap. Is it like one of those other events where it's 100 missions? And they eventually unlock? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait. So we've got motivation. What exactly does motivation do? I'm assuming it... Oh, the ascension material. Okay, so we need to get motivation for her ascension materials. So motivation is the ink that we need to gather. Technique is the paper. Scope and ascension. No, I wanted to look at the... Whatever. So yeah, motivation's the ink. Technique is the art, I guess. And the oranges are the imagination. また来たの。しょうがないわね。ラインアップをチェックしなさい。自分がどこまで。よかろう。欲するならば奪うがいい。と言いたいところなのだが。Why, thank you, Baraki. Thank you very much. I like the look of that water shine craft essence, but this Hokusai craft essence painting summer is really nice. And the Osaka Behime Foxy Lady is also really freaking nice. I want all of these craft essences. Just saying. Now, can I. There it is. Aurora Steel. This is what we need to get Jean maxed out. And to do this, we need uh, BB Bucks. Fluffy Bill? Hey, what? Okay, so that's a Gill Bill, Fluffy Bill. Okay, no. Whatever the Fluffy Bill is, is what we need. Wait. What? Gill bucks are turned into fluffy bills. Fluffy bills are turned into BB bills. Okay, so gill bucks are the worst type of bucks. But if they're the worst type. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're the worst type. So fluffy. However we get fluffy is how we do this. And this, these are the three categories of stuff that we need. Foxy lady. Any tickets? By the way, look at all these uh, giant rings. You might be able to f max the send Scotty thanks to this. There's some tickets. Code removers. Anything else? Now there's some ticket. Okay, so far I've only seen two summon tickets there. Okay. So technically speaking. Hmm. I'll do the 20 AP ones on video. 
And then I'll go by myself and grind the 40. So let's do this. Uh, bring Summer Helena, why not? Make sure we actually have damage and let's go. Summer Festival. Move that body at the airport to improve motivation. Lead back. So yeah, this is the motivation grinder apparently. So yeah, we need to grind three categories in this event. Oh boy. Apparently, you can do all of this with just your regular AP regeneration. Which is nice to know. But... Since I kinda skipped the day, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna need to actually use apples. But I have almost 600 golden apples, so it's fine. Apparently, there's gonna be another lottery event soon ish that we're gonna be doing. In which case, I should save my apples for that to get a bunch of materials. Which I am really falling behind on, on the material side of things, so I'm gonna need to do that. A lot more than I usually would. Which kinda sucks, but it's fine. All I know is that we need to get the Rona Steel. Why did you give yourself invincible? Dang it, Elizabeth, why are you gonna be more annoying than usual in this fight? Oh boy. Get the Aurora Steel. Get John up in the Ascension. Everything will be perfectly fine. She just got her freaking double phantasm off. There goes Run. You fought valiantly. God dang it. Wow, Ibaraki, seriously? Oh well. Go all out. Take her out. I also need to level up Ibaraki. Jolter needs to be leveled up. We have a lot we actually need to do. And it's a motivation. How much did we actually manage to get from this? We got 2,940 motivation, not bad. And we got some guild bucks from this. Alright. I do, however, need to get the ascension materials for Jolter as fast as possible. So that way I can actually level her up and actually then start playing with her as well. I can put her on my support. I mean, now we're fighting Ryder. Battle one of two. Aloha girl A, B, and C. I'm sorry that we have to do this to you, Aloha girl. You actually survived, good, good job. At least the 20 AP one's only two battles. So I don't really need to push that hard. Then I can actually get all three done. Cause I'm gonna be grinding this a long time. So an another story section should be on now, right? This day literally needs to change. Not entirely sure on all that. Nito, can you take him out? Probably not. Oh, come on, I forgot about my Mystic Code. Zap. At least I remembered it before I did the third one. I think I can take good photos here. Wait, wasn't that your name in a uh, Summer 2? 
Like, wasn't it legitimately what it, what he was called in some of the games? It's been so long I do not even remember his name either. Kinda sucks. Bye! Okay, do that. And yeah, we win. GG. Thank you for the technique. Got more master missions done. Wait, was that Fluffy Bucks? I think that was Fluffy Bucks. Eh, 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 I know what I'm grinding first. I need to get that Joan d'Arc up in Ascension. Wait, what? No! Curses! I wanted to grind more, now it's nighttime. I mean, daytime now. It's day two until Servant Fest. We have the motivation and we have the technique. We just don't have any imagination. It's kind of bad. Sightseeing for research. I mean, I was gonna end the episode, but since I can't grind anymore until I continue the story, we're gonna go through this. Good morning, Master. Now scratch that. It's a beautiful morning, Master. I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something invigorating about this place. I don't have many fond memories of the ocean, but I really like it here at Luluhawa. It's enough to make me want to go swimming. Good morning, Senpai. Did you sleep well last night? There was so much exciting commotion coming from Waikiki Street, I couldn't get to sleep myself. Looks like they hold a festival every night. It's so peaceful and there's laughter everywhere you go. I guess this is just what life in, in the tropics is like. I can see why so many people come here to unwind. Yeah, it made my walk last night a real drag. There were so many people on the street, I couldn't get as, so much as one decent photo even after midnight. Morning. Not a wall here. Let's head down to the lobby. We should grab ourselves a table for breakfast at buffet before they all fill up. Oh wow! This place is huge! Everything looks so good! Damn! They got everything here, American, Italian, Japanese, and everything in between. Mmm, it all tastes as good as it looks. Hell, maybe even better you're here, Master. You gotta try this. See, pretty damn good, right? I've never had better banana syrup in my life. Oh, this, this is their bacon. Mmm, smells so good. And it's twice as big as what they serve at Caldea. Very salty, though. I wonder if having so much salt at once is a good idea. Ah, uh, why not? We're on vacation after all. Plus, there's no Benke here to nag me about my cholesterol. Alright, it's time to- It's me time. Here's Senpai. Don't worry about coffee. This server will pour it for us. These uh, sounds of the ocean are so soothing. Oh, what a nice ocean view. Morning, Sal. Marsh. I see you're here on vacation. Brunica, good morning. Are you here on vacation too? Mm, yes and no. The vacation's part of it, but I'm also here on business. You know, the fluffy yard queen. She talked me into working as a chief sh as a chef here, and I'm not the only one. No, she's not. Usually, it's cats more, much more particular about how she prepares her carrots, but this joint is all about quantity over quality. After all, it's cats also made in here in Luluhawa, but face what made to order. Hmm. Red Mantle isn't here. Weird. I th I've thought he'd be the first one in line for a chef job. Well, either way, I've got no complaints about the nose from so from here on. We'll be starting every day with breakfast right here. They say it's the most important meal of the day, and also tucking in here ought to give us some plenty of energy for the rest of the day. As for what we do during the day, that's up to master. We could hang out at the beach or go shopping. It's only our second day here, so whatever we want to do, we have plenty of time. 
It's important that we just relax and enjoy Lulu Hawa. You okay with that, Alter? That's fine, during the day, but at night we need ba we meet back up at the hotel. I've got a lot of stuff to look up, and I want you guys snapping photos like there's no tomorrow in the meantime. Don't worry, Alter. I've got, got it well in my hand. I thought something like this might happen, so I made sure to bring along a top-of-the-line camera. If it's photos you want, then photos you'll get. Lulu Hawa landscapes, Senpai hiking up a mountain. Senpai diving into the ocean, Senpai getting on the bus, Senpai eating a waffle dog. All your photos of Senpai related, Mosh. Are you dropping any hints I I should know about? Ah, uh, yeah, I got it. Anyway, it's great that you're fired up about this, Mosh. You can handle taking photos then. Watch that. Okay, Senpai. Well, let's, let's go begin our expedition. I recommend we start with Diamond Head Beach and Diamond Head itself. Okay. And here's day two, where I am now able to go back and grind. But there's now four here again. Actually, it was always four. We need to do this. See, yeah, the story is literally like a once a day thing, and if I want to grind, I need to uh, record. It's good to know. Let's do this thing. Servant to Summer to Festival 2020. Walk the streets and nurture imagination laid back. Now this should be our imagination, right? Straight the performance. And I, I imagine that we are going to need a lot of imagination to be able to actually come up with this story along with the technique and the motivation to actually do it and actually be good at it. Hey wait, did they, did, does this place also give us fluffy bucks? Or, or are these BB bucks? I don't know, there's three sections, three different tiers of stuff that we can go down. So this may and or may not be what we need. Okay, so do... This, this, and then this. Let's take out her supports first. Goodbye, street performer B. I request you to escort me is her name. Already then. Where to, my lady? Man, why is Nero not getting any freaking attacks? She's gotten like one every time. Kinda sucks. Alright, Team Baraki. Brave and Chain. I really need to level her up. Ah, oh, crap. Christeno. Eh, your charm did not work. Because I only play with female servants. You're here? Well, I try to, anyways. So when just regular story stuff and always bring wave no matter what, just to boost ourselves up. Hey, nice crit. One more to go, and then we're done. Wow. Really, Nero? The final one is the one you actually get freaking all your... Whatever. I won't even give you the satisfaction of taking her out. How dare you. Alright, so yeah, this gives us BB bucks. The first one we did give us skill bucks. And the other one gives us fluffy. 
That is good to know. Okay, wait, hold on, hold the phone. We're gonna be going into day three soon. Why do I have a feeling that once it becomes day three, it's literally going to continue the story? I don't think this event works half as half as uh what I think it does. So I'm gonna go do this 40 AP one, the bottom one, and I will be right back after I've done it and just see what potentially happens after. I'm also gonna need to bring in another trump card that is not a summer servant. I need a five-star assassin. All right. I cannot remember for the life of me what the heck his name was actually. So I uh, looked up the first letter to his name. Ozymandias. Yeah. Shows how much I truly care about his character. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Sorry. Sneferu, Iteru Niyore. Okay, bulk alternative. Let's see if this can take them out. I don't think it might do a decent amount of damage. <laughs> Nile. Gaza has still does a lot of damage. Just as impressive as she always is. You <laughs> shouldn't have done that, fool. We actually have enough crit stars for it. I'm going for the overkill. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Goodbye. And now we technically should be hopping into day three. If it's doing it like I think it's going to do, it's going to pit me up against the walls where... I can only do two things every day for six days in the game. Not actually in real life in Ibaraki is now Bond 2. Here's the fluffy bucks. Thank you very much. We'll also take the Dojin techniques as well. Power that alone allows one to strive for greatness even when, while not losing sight of small details collected from Seven Summer Festival. Hey, we also got a line we go. Nice. Hey, we got our first giant ring from that. Alright. Oh, nine million more of those to go for Scotty. Now, are you gonna go to the next day or are you gonna actually let me grind? Nope. You're not. An Aloha guy arrives in Hawaii. You want to know how to make dungeon? You really sign up for certain fans without even knowing that? Huh, that seems really brave and really reckless. Reminds me of how bad last year's Halloween got. But that's okay with me. Like, I like a little recklessness. Alright, as a fellow anti hero of sorts, I'll offer you a word of advice. I don't know what sort of story you're looking to draw, but you can't just go right to a paper with a draft. First, you need to actually make an appointment to see the printer. Your schedule is already p pretty packed, right? Trust me, I know. Mine's wound tighter than a boa constrictor. There's pretty much no choice of you sending your draft to the printer before the very last second. So if I were you, I'd go meet them while I still could. You'll find them right around here, between Waikiki Street and the airport. I recommend taking the bus or a taxi. Seriously, Waikiki's public transport is awesome.
So I took her advice and went down to the printer, but the owner wasn't there. Hmm, I don't suppose that, that is the owner there. He simply looks at the part, and his dress cannot be more Hawaiian. Who are you talking about? What? What? It doesn't help that I don't remember his name currently. He's currently so still insignificant to me that, uh... <laughs> I don't remember his name! I don't know if I should feel bad or not. I'm getting some serious deja vu here. Well, it's one chef I waited to find out. Aloha! Aloha! Aloha, youngsters! I say, is it just me? Or is there something strange about... Something about her str strange about Hawaii lately? Well, yes, you could certainly see that. I knew it. You see, my homunculus, uh, attendants were just telling me. Oh, man, we gotta shut down soon, huh? If only we could take a paid vacation to Hawaii just once. They were rather enthusiastic about it, in fact. At any rate, I came here to take a look at the Hawaiian branch of the organization I am to acquire one day. Heh, <laughs> of the organization I am to acquire. Okay. But there's clearly something else strange going on here from now, right now. For example, who are all those strange people mixed in among the regular tourists? I believe it is because of Seven Fest, Portly One. Ah, oh, now I see. A lot of skill convention for those sorts, eh? Well, that just won't do. My danger sense is going absolutely berserk. Hey, you lot. We're going back to the northern summer home. We'll scope a diamond hit beach some other time. Hum, a perfectly good Hawaiian outfit to blend in with the locals. Wasted. Guess that guy didn't own the printer. Just another tourist. He still looks oddly familiar, though. Wonder if we'll see him again at some point. I think that's just the deja vu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the deja vu. Anyway, I don't think we're gonna find no one around here. No point running ourselves ragged when we don't even know where to look, so I say we call it a day. I still want to check the printer out, but without a book to print, there's not much po point as long as we get the final draft done and the rest out. Well, let's go back to the hotel and brainstorm. We could also just make our own photocopies. Uh, I was really hoping to avoid that, but I guess if we've got no other choice, then again, we can we really get by with just photocopies? Alright then, let's go back. Have some dinner and discuss story ideas. You go on ahead, I'll grab some grub for all of us and meet you there later. Hope you're ready for all the Lu Lulu Hawa Hawaiian fruit filled drink junk food you can eat. Mm hmm. Why, thank you. I'm not embarrassed about changing so many times. Saba! Wait. Saber. Ah, crap. Is this the cheese right here? Is it? Is it the cheese of the event? Doo -doo -doo. It's a cheese, isn't it? Sao Vento Summer 2020 Festival. I'm not embarrassed about changing so many times. And I've been going for over two hours now, holy crap. I'm really getting a deep dive into this event, dang. Alright, so this afternoon we're gonna look for a reference material at the beach. Woohoo! After Alter she said she had a bad feeling about the beach, went to the aquarium instead. Her loss. Take it in all in, Master. Not a better beach to be found than this. Damn! Hell yeah! Wait, 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 What the hell were you doing there? Uh, crap. What, what was his name? Uh, uh... His class was Lancer, right? I don't remember... That's when I just go look it up because I don't really care about trying to remember guys' names. 
It's only the girl's name, Sal. Just sit here for hours on end trying to remember the dang name. Leonidas. I did the same thing I did with Ozzy. Saw the first letter, and it instantly came to me. Okay, then. I'm referring to the ocean. Obviously beautiful blue water and not a speck of garbage anywhere on the glittering white sands. Sure, it's impossible to take pictures of it without taking photos of the people here, too. What are you gonna do? It's the beach. There's sure a lot of servants here. I don't think I even recognize all of them. I, I do. Most of them are probably here for serving fest. Hey, at least we won't have to worry about running out of subjects. Excellent. Then let's start taking photos. We need to get permission first. Of course, although I wonder who we should start with. Oh, that blind woman over there. Sean! Hell yeah! That's our leader's competition. Oh, hello, Marsh. Hello, Sal. I didn't know you were all here, too. Aloha! You seem right at home. Aloha! <laughs> I was a little taken aback by how open and spacious everything here is here at first. But here I am a week later, a full-blown Lulu Hawa heroic spirit. I'm really enjoying Lulu Hawa. The sound of the waves, the gentle breeze. The seemingly endless supply of cheap, delicious pizza. The friendly locals. Just getting to see the ocean would have been enough for me. But as you can see, Marie and I are enjoying this so much, it's almost embarrassing. Oh, did I min mention I met an unexpected guardian angel I, uh, and learned a new attack, too? Anyway, I have to say that Lulu Hawa really agrees with me. I'm selling. I approve this message. <laughs> so what's the deal with that floaty? <laughs> so you know this, did you? You want to know more about it, don't you? This might look like a floaty, but it's actually a halo designed to guide summer angels. It's my special weapon. Think of it as a flag I carry into battle for summer. Oh, interesting. That's quite an ornament you got for yourself then. So are you all here to enjoy the beach too? If you like, I'd be happy to teach you to find a point of swimming in the ocean. No, that's alright. We only came here to collect reference material for our book. Oh my, a book. That's right, Dalton wanted to make a dojin, so... Shh. Keep that to yourself, Marsh. You know Alter wants to keep that a secret for now. Alright, I shouldn't have brought that up without Alter here too. I can't go into specifics, but the short version is we've ended up joining a club as well. So today we're here at the beach taking reference photos, right, Senpai? That's right, mind if we take one, John? That's right, mind if we take one, Marsh? Eh, eh, eh. Oh, you mean you want me to model for you? Well, of course I wouldn't say no to you, but... That's strange. Now I just hear you right. You're going to go for leftovers when you have a gourmet banquet right in front of you. I suppose you might just have something in your eye. If you do, watch it out right now and feature eyes on the true queen of the beach. The cheesiest, cheesiest of cheese cheese queen of all. The cheese is showing up. <laughs> I won't ever uh, have her live that down. The fact that uh, <laughs> uh, the way to kill her in the second summer was cheese. That was still hilarious. <laughs> Meme, Meme. Wait, weren't you in last summer's event? Correct. It has been exactly one year to the day since this queen was disgraced. <laughs> I mean, technically we had a rerun, so we got to witness that again. Now I'm reborn as a saber, and I've got a brand spanking new spe swimsuit spirit origin to show for it. I see a saber, huh? So I guess you're Mabe 2.0? What happened to the outfit you had last year? I still got it safely tucked away, of course. A queen has dressed for all occasions, you know. A uh, Mabe, can I ask you something? Alright, permission to speak, granted. 
Me having a photo shoot here sounds like you have no problem with being photographed. That's right, I'm in the middle of a major photo shoot at the moment. Yours truly will be putting on a book at 7 Fest 2, a photo book to be precise. You're publishing at 7 Fest 2, but why would you go with a photo book when? Now wait, she might be a tougher competitor than I'm thinking. Whatever her personality issues, the effect her magical energy has on men is real. Remember, she took control of a nation with her charm and spell alone. She releases a sexy photo book. You don't say, that sounds fascinating. So, who have you been got working the camera with the lion head? Oh, please, as if I'd let Edison get involved and then run off with the, most of the profits. Now, the only one to got, get to photograph this gorgeous spot are my, my adorable, pitiful slaves. So. Ku and Diamud? I think I skipped up at least 100 points set to cameras in this beach alone. Something about this woman runs me the wrong way. Shall we fight her master? No, no. It's against Lan Lulu Howard to go around picking fights. Besides, I'm sure we can all get along. A oh, crap cell and the rest of them still don't get what a threat this is. We're talking a photo sh book shot by a hundred skilled photographers. In which case. So where's your table then? I'm guessing it's lost in the middle somewhere if this is your first time at this con. <laughs> don't be silly. I got a spot near the wall, of course. There was another club with a weird name in the spot I wanted, so I negotiated with them for it. What were they called again? I think it was Tentacle Iron Bar or something. Their club rep was absent, though. The only one I w talked to was Abby, one of the underlings. The rep for Tentacle Iron Bar was absent. That's strange. Nothing sure that the collapse of humanity itself would make them miss Seven Fest. The rep for Tentacle Iron Bar. That was, in fact, Hokusai. And Abby was there as well. They both have tentacles in their artwork. Well, yeah. So that's why they're under that name. Just a moment, you don't expect us to believe these negotiations were on the up and up, do you? Huh? The hell are you talking about? Of course they were. I said give and they gave. What else is there to it? So you threatened them? No, I doubt it was even that. I guess you think they just gave you what you wanted out of the goodness of their hearts. Uh, I recognize that look of yours. It's a look of someone who thinks they deserve everything they want just for being pretty. It shouldn't ever have to give anyone anything in return. Clearly, Lady Masako had nothing on you. Man, here Lady Masako is throwing me for the loop. I've been, uh, watching someone play, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. There's a Lady Masako in that. Wasn't expecting to hear her name show up. That's so. You got cut saying that to my face. Your own figure is okay, but it's obvious your only beauty regimen is working out. When you get right down to it, sporty is really just another word for stocky. You don't have an elegant curve to your name. So how about you stick to sports and leave the swimsuits and sex appeal to those of us who know something about them, Tengu girl? Uh oh, I don't like the way this is headed. Do something rompin'. Sorry, this is out of my hands. These two are naturally- Oh yeah, since we're on the subject, it's not just that look of hers, the way she moves, the way she acts. On that note, we agree. It's not just a look in your eyes, I hate those sp sp spindly arms and legs. Make me sick. Please calm down, Mr. Wakamaru. Do something, Robin! The Gomi Master, who she thinks she is, having just the right amount of fat on those gorgeous legs. You can tell she doesn't work at all. Work out at all, yet she still has a perfect body. Every breath she ha draws in it. Is an affront to us athletic types. Well, I mean, she does work out in one way. If you catch my drift. Hmm, this is exactly why I hate yokels from the mountains. You really think you get as much out of training as you put in? How clueless can you get? When I've had the true queen, it's incumbent upon me to show you what sets royalty apart from the rabble. 
Consider yourself lucky that you get to see my power in action. These are the heroes who swore loyalty to my beauty, my good looking braves. Oh boy. Good looking brave, something's not adding up here. Fo, 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 fo! Don't be silly. These guys all want to look good for me and they're bravely willing to do anything if it'll help. Yeah. I thought you said the photographers were your slaves. What are you talking about? Celts don't do slavery. If we did, we'd call my Celtic warriors slaves. But we don't, is that so hard to understand? Of course that rule doesn't apply to non-Celts though. Alright then, my beloved braves. From these curtains from these lovely shores, and my brain is there even lovelier, Queen of the Beast might continue unopposed. There you have it, Master. We are now well past the point of diplomacy. Since the only worthwhile reference material we might get off of her is from the neck down, you won't mind if I chop off anything about that, right? She couldn't even contribute to the artistic next Venus, the mural, but with a missing head instead of arms. Come on, pretty please. Puppy dog guys aren't going to help. Well, well, you sure talk enough. Talk fine. If you think you can make me into a Greek old, old Greek statue, you go ahead and do your worst. Oh, I recognize that sport. The sumo wrestling. I thought it was usually but practiced by half-naked men. I thought it was. Though, I guess those two must be very good friends. Well, don't talk all the funny, you two. Let me join you. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. The Lulu Hawa heat must be getting to hurt even more than it is Alter. Looks like we've got no choice but to join into Master. We've got to get Uchiwaka to settle down before she kicks up a storm and ruins this whole awesome weather for the rest of the tourists, including me. Uh-huh. Well, Robin, I'm glad to see you have your priorities straight. I am really glad to see you have your priorities straight. Ah, oh, god dang it. I support John, his lovely lady. No! Hey, there we go. That's the type of damage I like to see. I will say though, the Mabe looks really nice in her summer outfit. Just saying. Like, really, really nice. <laughs> Would we be able to get her though is the question? I doubt it. Alright. There goes Brave Ape. And now it's just Mabe. All on, on her lonesome against three archers. Hey, our assistant Jean has a full grave chain. Alright. Let's end it. Goodbye, Mabe. If our lovely lady Jean can do it. Oh. Oh. 53! God dang it, man. I mean, then, I guess that means that our Jean can take her out, but still. Really sucks. We were so close. And I've probably already cut the, this episode up into two episodes by now. Do I really want to have just a two hour, long, two hour long episode? Now getting close to almost halfway to three? Oh, that fan of hers kicks up a little, literal storm. What a pain in the ass. Braves, we're leaving. There's no point holding a photo shoot if she's going to rain on my parade. Part of that. I suggest switching over to a wet t-shirt shoot in that, that case. But I suppose we would need special equipment for that. Alright guys, you heard her majesty. 
Remember, we're still in for the deep di sea dive shoot this afternoon. Well, this has been fun and all. I'm afraid I'm too busy to play with you dweebs anymore. Good luck with your little book project. You're gonna need it since there's absolutely no chance to club of newbies like you could ever make anything good. Uh-huh. Huh, newbie, she should talk. She'd better hope she doesn't get a cramp and end up drowning. <laughs> that was fun. I think I'm getting the hang of being an archer. Anyway, I'd better get going. I don't want to keep Marie waiting for a lunch date. You've got a club too, right? Then I'm sure I'll see you again at Servant Fest. Oh, you'll be seeing me every time. Jeez, so we just ran into the reps for two major clubs purely by accident, huh? Between Jones production talent and Mabe's unorthodox approach, we got a, our work cut out for us. Yeah, yeah, that we do. Okay. I think I'm gonna need a break. Cause I highly, highly doubt that our <laughs> next stuff is gonna not be out yet. Cause for all we know, we could go straight to six days. But you never know, it could potentially not. But yeah, with that, I'm going to end this second part. Well, yeah, here's two part of episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. And we will continue going through Summerfest. And hopefully, maybe I'll actually be able to finally get to a point where I can actually grind. I mean, I'm going to use some bronze apples just to check and see if I can grind. Because if I can, then you'll see us with a bunch of motivation technique and imagination. If not, then you know what happened. We couldn't. I mean, we're at 120 fluffy bucks, right? We need 200. Oh crap! It's BB bucks, not fluffy bucks. No. So yeah, we, we need 50,000 points in black ink for that. 50,000 for this as well. Yep. And 50,000 for this. Okay, so yeah, get 50k, 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 then 200 BB bucks. And then we can essentially max her ascensions out. Then all we have to worry about is actually having the Ascension Materials and actually finishing the event to make her our permanent servant. And then I can worry about potentially maybe... I don't know if I'd actually grail her. I say I might, but we all know I'm probably just going to take the grail from this event and just hoard it. We have... how many grails do we have now? Uh, is it an item list? Holy crap, we're one golden apple away from 600. Dang. That is awesome. Oh, look at that. We wouldn't have even had enough secret gems for assassins to even get Ushiwakamaru's skills up. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't get her. Do we have enough sabers? No, we do not. Well, crap. That sucks. Man, yeah, where are my grails at? Grails. Seriously? Oh, there they are. 28. And after this, it'll be 29. And it takes one grail to go from 92 to 94 to 96 to 98 to 100. So five grails in total just go from 90 to 100. That's ridiculous. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably be keeping my grails for quite a while. So until then, see you guys later.